Hello everyone, this is Allison Okamitsu from NicePeopleStamp.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have some of our brand new holiday catalog supplies ready to go here, but I'm going to show you how you can use your traditionally Christmas products to make a fun birthday card. So this is the Merry Little Label stamp set that is brand new in the 2017 Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog. It was just released on September 1st. And this is the new Merry Patterns Hostess stamp set. So the only way that you can earn this stamp set and get your hands on it is by earning it. So you can either host a Stampin' Up! event with sales of $375 and you'll get that, or you can put in your own personal order of $375 and you can get that beautiful set. We are also using one of our brand new Christmas designer papers. It's called Merry Little Christmas. So you can see it has a fun old olive stripe on the back, but we're going to use this fun black and white plaid. And then I have my ink pads here and I'm going to put all the item numbers up for these products as I use them so you can jot them down. So if you need a pen and paper, you can grab that now. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to go through the measurements with you as I go. So our first piece of cardstock here, this is our Bermuda Bay cardstock. This piece is cut to four and a quarter by 11 inches and it's scored at five and a half. That's going to be our card base. All right, and then we have our Merry Little Christmas designer series paper. So again, this is brand new in the Stampin' Up! holiday catalog. This is cut to four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to use my Fast Views adhesive to adhere that onto my card front. So this is my favorite adhesive. I love how strong it is and how everything just stays in place. So if you're looking for a really strong adhesive, I think this is the one for you. Okay, so there is our fun plaid layer. And then I want to do some stamping. So I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This is three and one eighth by four and a quarter. And I'm going to do some stamping with the candle image. So again, that's the Mary Patterns Hostess stamp set. And I'm going to use the candle images to create a fun cluster of birthday candles. So the first image I'm going to stamp is in my basic black ink. So I just want to give my candle outline a nice, deep black stamp down with those candles. Isn't that so cute? I love these candles. Okay, so traditionally these are, um, you know, they're in a hostess stamp set that's for Christmas. So um, it is a Christmas candle grouping, but we're using it for birthday. So I have my pumpkin pie ink. And this is one of the stamps to color in the candles. So, I'm just going to ink that up in pumpkin pie and we'll just stamp that down. So just make sure you're lining it up. You can see the first time there I had it lined up on the wrong candle. So just make sure you have it lined up on the right candles. All right. And then we have our Bermuda Bay ink and we're just going to stamp the other set of candles and you can see that they're even cut out so you can you know line them up right so isn't that so cute already I love it they're very easy to stamp when they're in the clear photopolymer stamps you can see right through so it's very easy so this is my daffodil delight ink and I'm just going to line the flames up so I always like to look at the first and last flame and make sure they're lined up and then the ones in between will all be lined up as well. All right, so there are our birthday candles, but now we want a fun sentiment. So I looked at the Mary Label stamp set and I love these two fonts together. So I thought special delivery, but I didn't really want the from the North Pole. So I'm gonna show you an easy way for you to omit that when you're stamping. And this is kind of like my cheater way, this is my, a bit of a, I call it my lazy stampers way. Okay, so I have my basic black ink pad. We'll just open that up again. 
and then I have my stamp it says special delivery from the North Pole so um, you could cut this stamp and separate those two but I don't that even wasn't too much work for me <laughs> So I take some of my old washi tape. So this is one that we no longer sell and I just keep it for stuff like this. And I'm just gonna cover up where it says from the North Pole. Okay, so I'm just covering that and sticking it down well. So then I'll ink up my stamp. And you can see I'm getting ink on that washi tape. Don't worry about that. So I'll just, before I stamp it down, I'm just going to remove my washi tape, okay? So you can see that the From the North Pole has no ink, and we'll just stamp it onto our card front. Isn't that so cute? So you have special delivery and no From the North Pole. I think that turned out really well, don't you? Super cute. Okay, so the last step here is to mount this onto a piece of pumpkin pie. So this piece of pumpkin pie is three and a quarter by four and three eighths. And so what I'm going to do is just put this onto my card front with some dimensionals. I love these things. They add a little pop to our cards, don't they? In all of our projects. So just remove the backings on those. All right. So we can center this onto our piece of plaid designer paper. And then because this black ink is still just a little bit wet, I'm actually going to put my fast views onto my pumpkin pie piece because I don't really want to disturb my black ink too much. And I'm just gonna lay that down and just kind of press it. So there you go, isn't that so cute? So here's the one that I had made before I started the video. So you can see I've actually switched the colors of my candles a little bit. So I hope that you enjoyed that and I hope that you think it's pretty cool that you can make a birthday card with these two super traditionally Christmas stamp sets. I hope that you enjoyed that. So I'd like to thank you for watching. And if you're looking for more inspiration, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can get all of my YouTube videos delivered right to your inbox. And make sure you stop by my blog, which is nicepeoplestamp.com. When you're ready to shop for any of the products that you saw today, please visit my Stampin' Up! website. You can shop from anywhere in Canada. It's alisonokamitsu.stampinup.net and I will put a link to that in the comments and the video description. Thank you so much everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.